guys, I'm really excited to be sharing a new product with you from Ergo Pouch. We partnered with these guys for the launch of this fabulous little invention called the Butterfly Cardi. Um, I wish it was actually around when my little ones were transitioning because I was very big on making sure that I followed a certain stepped process um, with the guidance of Chris Minogue. Um, and it was all about making sure that you release one arm at a time. Now, from what I've heard within the community, a lot of people are very unsure about when you should do this. Um, and I guess everyone's baby is different. So it can happen anywhere between two and six months. For mine, it was usually around the 10 week mark. Um, but basically, whenever your little one starts to roll in their bed or you start noticing that they're rolling, if their arms are contained to their body and they are, are unable to release them, they may lie on their face, which is going to obstruct, obstruct their breathing. So um, it's really important to make sure during that time that you're armed and prepared to release their arms so that they can move themselves away from their face um, or push away if they were to roll over accidentally. Um, and yeah, I guess we're all very aware of the SIDS guidelines and we're all very um, privy to what we should and shouldn't be doing in the very early stages. But I think as they get older and they start reaching these different milestones, we can forget. So um, back to this little guy, this is really taking the hard work out of it. It's giving you a tool so that you know exactly what to do during that time. Um, generally, I say that you need to take somewhere between, I guess, around 10 days or 12 days to do the process with this. Um, so basically what you do is when they're in their little, you put them in a little sleeping bag. So no longer are they being wrapped or they're swaddled with their arms tight. You basically put them in their sleeping bag and then you put this gorgeous little cardigan over the top, which has adjustable buttons. So if they're teeny, and it happens when they're quite young, it can be quite small. Um, otherwise you can release it so it's a little bit bigger. And then what you do, and I think I might need your help here. Can you bring me your little dolly, girlfriend? Can I have your little dolly? Can we use the dolly? Do you think that's a good idea? Seeing as though Nunu's too big for this. Thank you for your help. What's the dolly's name? Coco. Coco. So Coco's going to be our little model today. So Coco's arms are going to be in. So remembering she's going to have her sleeping bag on. And then we're going to make sure we clip the little cardigan up so it's nice and firm. Coco's arms don't bend very nicely, so we might be a bit restricted, but we're improvising. I'm not going to have another newborn yet, so no. I'll um, just have to deal with the dolly for the moment. And... So we put Coco's arms in. What do you think, Ish? Do you think this is cute? And she's going to be sleeping with her sleeping bag and her butterfly cardi. And it's all beautiful organic cotton, so it's nice and soft. And the thickness is really light, so it'll be perfect for any season. Um, obviously, you're going to be layering up with sleepwear as well, depending on the season. So for winter, always have a sleep suit underneath, a sleeping bag and this. Um, but for summer, you could even just have a nappy and this on as well. So this is where she's going to finally have her arms released somewhat, but still contained. So it's going to help um, eliminate or reduce the startle reflex. That's obviously when they can wake themselves up. So for the first few nights, so I say probably around three nights, she's just going to get used to the sensation of having her arms contained in these little folded pockets, but somewhat free or freer than they would be within a swaddle. And then for the next three days, you're going to release one arm and there she's got a little bit more freedom and get, can get used to that. So that will be for the next few nights. And then finally, arms free, but still wearing the cardi. Um, and then you can do that for the next few nights. So over the course of the week or so, you will see that we go from having them contained and getting used to that sensation and then releasing one arm and then finally the other arm. So although that it's a short space of time that you will be using this, it is absolutely um, so important that you are armed and prepared to do it once they start rolling because otherwise it is going to be unsafe for them. It's not going to be safe sleeping. Um, so I always suggest when you are getting your sleeping bag to go along and get one of these little cardies to have in your cupboard. Um, I guess it's like the dummy. I always have one on, on hand just in case I needed it. It's the same with the butterfly cardi. You never know when your little one's going to start rolling. So make sure you have it there on hand and then little Coco will be sleeping soundly with her arms out. I hope you like the product and be sure to visit our website. We have some fabulous articles that will take you through exactly how to make the transition um, and you can learn a little bit more about the butterfly cardi.